Hello, welcome to my channel today. This is the King's Tutor. Okay, it's a platform where we um, teach and tutor all levels of accounting, statistics, mathematics, and any calculation process that is difficult for you. Okay, today we want to see um, management accounting A6412. This is actually a request by one of uh, my students um, that requested that, okay, um, they are having their exams that we should treat um, this topic. Okay, you can also make your own request. Any topic that is difficult for you, either in accounting, statistics, any aspect, finance, that is difficult for you, you can make a request now by clicking or calling that number showing on your screen for us to what to give you um, or to show and solve and make a video of any topic. Okay, so we want to see management accounting with this ACC 412 for um, students in Imo State University away. Okay, students in final year writing their degree exams. This is second semester course. Okay, now the aspect of management accounts we want to see are uh, relevant um, decision as regards cost. Okay, relevant decision as regards cost. And she um, specifically made request for us to talk about the make or buy decision. The make or buy decision. In my next video, probably, I will start from onsen to treat all that. We have different decision as regards um, that relates to cost. We have what we also call add or drop. Add or drop decision, make or buy. We have outsourcing. And different type of, we have utilization of our resources and all that. Okay, but today I want this video to focus on make or buy decision. Okay, because it was a request. Now, make or buy decision is one of the decisions that is made in an organization by a manager. Now, what does this mean? It means that the manager uh, or the manager is in a dilemma to decide which decision to invite. There is that individual that takes certain decision in a firm. Okay, so in this form, is in dilemma deciding which decision to embark on, either to make a particular type of product or to buy them. That is what the make or buy decision is in ways. It means that the manager would either make, that means uh, in terms of um, the cost, the manager would prefer or the firm would prefer to make the um, product if it has less or lesser cost than when it is what purchased from outside. Okay, so this is one of the dilemma. Another part is add or drop, but that one we'll see that in the next video. Okay, so the make or buy decision is a decision that um, the manager would want to take to decide if the firm would make a particular type of product or buy them from what outside and the the firm would only would make internally if the cost of making those um, products is lesser than the cost they will incur when it comes from what from outside okay so we're going to see uh, an example now to practically um, deal with this okay stay tuned welcome back okay now, this is a question we want to see an example, a practical example, so that we can solve uh, the make or buy decision. Now, said the question said, Oswald Limited make four components, W, X, Y, and Z, which cost in the forthcoming year are to be, now, these are the products or components, W, X, Y, Z. Now, the production units, that's the quantity they will um, do that is 1,000, 2,000, 4,000, and 3,000. Now, the variable cost per unit, what it will cost them to make this, okay? Direct material cost is 400 um, for the, um, the W component, uh, 50 for X, 20 for Y, and 40 for Z. The same thing for direct labor cost, 80, 90, 40, 60. Um, variable production overhead, 20, 30, 10, 20. Now, the cost, the total variable cost, 
they will incur is 140, 170, 70, and what? 120. Okay? Now, total fixed cost per annum. Now, incurred as a direct consequence of making this product, W. That's a direct fixed cost. Okay? Direct con consequence of making this is 10,000. Um, incurred as a direct consequence of making X is 50, Y is 60, and Z is what? 80. Then, other fixed cost is what? 300, what? Thousand. Now, they said a contractor has offered to supply units of W, X, Y, and Z for 120, 210, 100, and 140, respectively. Now, required. This is where your mind should come to. Should the company make or buy the component? Now, the manager is in dilemma now. They brought this to you as a management accountant in that firm to analyze this. It means you should um, give them an analysis after you've um, done the calculation to verify if the company should make this component or they should buy them from what outside. Now, what do we do? We compare and contrast their, what, their cost. Remember I said they only make internal when the cost is what less than what they should buy outside. Okay? So, they said a contractor has offered to supply them this amount. It means if you supply this amount, if it is lesser, no need of what making all this. Now let's calculate and see. Now we have solution. Now let's write out the components which are W, X, Y, and what? Z. Okay? Now let's see the cost of selling if they would want to buy. Now said so unit cost of buying. That's the first thing you do. Unit cost of buying. Now they said W, X, Y, and Z for 120. It means the first one is 120. For W is 120. Now for X is 210. For Y is 100. And for Z is what? 140. Now from this now, this is what they will incur if they buy. Now let's see if they will make it. Let's see how much it will cost them. I'll say unit cost of making this product. Now we'll come here. How much it will cost them? Watch. The total variable cost is direct material, the amount they will incur, the amount they will pay labor, the variable production of our head. Everything total to give us the total variable cost. So we are going to what? Compare and contrast this. Now for that same uh, product W, it is 140. For X, it is 170. For Y, it is 70. And for Z, it is what? 120. Now, what do we do from here now? Now, you compare and contrast. This is the amount that we incur if they buy. This is the amount that we incur if they make it. It means that if they make it, they will incur more when they buy for what? Component uh, W. So, it means they will have a negative value. That is minus 120. 120 minus 140 will give us one negative um, 20. So it means they will have a negative value if they would make it at what? 140 instead of what? Buying. The same thing applies there. 210 minus 170. It means that at this point, if they um, buy, they will, it will be higher than when they make it. So the difference will give us um, 210 minus 170 will give us 40. Okay? Now from this now, the next one, also 100 minus 70 will give us positive 30. The next one, 140 minus 120 will give us what? Positive 20. Now these are the cost, the difference. The first one gave us what? The negative. Okay? Now, with this now, let's multiply them. The next thing you do is to multiply them with the production units. The number of units they want to what? produce. For component W, now, we we'll have what we have here as our extra, okay? Production unit. Sorry. We we'll have production unit. Now, we'll close this. Production unit. Now, production unit for W is 1,000. For X is what? 
2,000, for y is what? 4,000, and for z is what? 3,000. Now, what do we do from here now? Now, we're going to get their cost, extra cost. Now, what is this extra cost? It means the difference between if they are supposed to make or buy. And this amount we have here, multiply it by what? The production unit. So, the first one will be the negative 20 times 1,000 units, which is the component, uh, number of units they will do for components W. So, we'll have 20,000 negative, okay, because it is negative. And the next one is 40 times 2,000. We'll have 80,000. The third one is 30 times 4,000. We'll have, it will be 120. Why the last one is 20 times 3,000. We'll have 60,000. Now, these are the costs they will incur. Now, the next thing you should do is to check if there is fixed cost that is directly related to what? The making of this product. Now, what we have here, we are not talking about the other fixed costs. The other fixed costs are the costs that are inevitable, even if you buy or make them. That is not what we are looking at now, because we have it there. Okay? But we want to check those fixed costs that is directly related to making those products. Okay? Now, it said, incurred as a direct consequence of making W. Okay? So, from this now, that is 10,000. Now, we have fixed cost saved by buying. It means if they buy, they will not incur this fixed cost. This fixed cost is for what? Making. So, let's deduct it from this to see what it will give us. That's the next thing you should do. Okay, so we have for W, it is what? 10,000. For X, it is what? 50,000. For Y, it is what? 60,000. Y for Z, it is what? 80,000. Okay, now we are deducting. We can call this less. We are deducting. So if we deduct, if we deduct, we have. Minus, remember this is already minus. Minus 20,000 minus 10,000. You have what? Negative 30,000. In accounting of financial terms, we don't write minus like this as in mass. No, just put it in bracket. Okay? So the next one is 80,000 minus 50. You have what? 30,000, which is positive. The third one, 120 minus 60. You have 60,000, which is also what? Positive. And the last one, 60,000 minus 80,000. You have negative, that's minus 20,000. So you see that they will have a negative uh, amount if it will cause them high if they make this in the firm. It will cause them high if they make this. But these two, it was, it will be better for them if they make it other than what buying it from outside. That is, it is expensive to buy components X and Y outside than making it. So what is your decision from this now? Our decision, our decision from this now would be that the firm should make, as a decision now, the firm should make components X and Y because it is cheaper for them to make than what buying outside. Why also the firm should buy components W and Z because it is what costlier in making than when it is bought from what outside. Okay, so the firm should make X and Y and buy W and what Z. So as a manager accountant, after doing this um, calculation, you analyze it and make your decision. So. The firm, when they want to get this W, X, Y, and C, so they would make um, components X and Y and buy this one from their contractor. Okay? So that is how to solve this. Okay? If you have any question, don't um, hesitate to call in regards to any of the subjects you guys are treating now. Okay? I will also take a past question.
of this in the next video. Stay tuned. Thank you very much. This is the King's Tutor. Click on the subscribe button, like, comment, and share.